Hi, I'm Dean Sir, President and Co-Founder of the MLD Foundation for Metachromatic Leukodystrophy. Two of my three girls have uh, MLD, lost one of them um, back in 1995, and we've been working with families and researchers, clinicians, uh, policymakers, and so on ever since. Um, I wanted to update you today on some good news and some pending good news for clinical trial research that's been going on with uh, MLD. First, uh, Shire has announced at, at the World uh, Lysosomal Disease Network meeting in early February, they announced the results of the phase one, phase two clinical trial, and the results are very encouraging. They're looking very good. Um, uh, they're moving forward, which they haven't announced to phase three, but uh, with the results that I saw, if I was making those decisions, I would, I would think they would do so. Um, and Shire's working on an enzyme replacement therapy, so that's a, an infusion every couple of weeks uh, that would keep the enzyme levels up. There's another therapy that's uh, completed phase one, phase two, and it's out of uh, Italy. Uh, the San Rafael Institute with funding from TJET, which is an Italian organization, has developed a gene therapy. And they're actually doing a gene modification, um, but it's an autologous transplant that's, uh, that's, that's coupled with that. And autologous means that you're using your own blood products. So um, the preconditioning, which is usually the bugaboo in transplants, um, is much, much milder because they're modifying your cells and then putting them back in. So um, we're very excited about that. Um, there's been no formal data published on that. Um, clearly, we know data from families, and uh, the indications are that um, uh, things are moving along very well. So we're excited by that. We've got a couple other pharma engaged. So there's another company called Armagen that uh, is a uh, much earlier stage. They've got the MLD mouse, but they're working on kind of a variation of the chaperone therapy and uh, a couple of others that are unannounced that we can't speak to. So we're very excited about the progress that's being made in MLD therapies.